equals income. Okay, sales equals income. Okay, I want you to think of every single way to make money. Okay, whether it's working a job, or starting a business, or doing an investment, uh, getting property, uh, um, selling a product or service, doing a consultancy business, sales equals income. Why? It, every everything that you everything in the world that involves money, right, is a sale, right? Because if you search for the definition of sales, right. To sell means to exchange a product or to exchange something for money. So you exchange something for money, right? You are effectively selling, right? Employees sell their time for money. So you sell maybe $7 per hour, $8 per hour, $20 per hour. <coughs> Employees sell their time for money, right? Entrepreneurs sell their products and services for money, okay? Camera right is down. Um, employees. Employees. Sell time. Okay? Entrepreneurs. Sell. Okay. But the highest level. Leaders sell. Leaders sell a vision. Yeah. Employees sell their time for money. Entrepreneurs sell products and services. Leaders sell a vision. If you look at all the top leaders, right, all they did was sell a dream, sell a vision. When you can sell a vision, Alibaba is gonna create entrepreneurship throughout the whole of China. Apple is gonna revolutionize the whole industry, right? Um, um, Bill Gates, uh, Microsoft, everyone is gonna disrupt the whole the way. Um, people use typewriters and all that, right? So, all they do is they sell visions. The best leaders are the best salespeople. Barack Obama is the best salesperson. Donald Trump is one of the best salespeople, right? So, leaders sell a vision. Entrepreneurs sell products and services. Employees sell their time. So, sales equals income. Sales equals income, right? So, everything that involves money is a sale, right? Whether, yeah, think about it. The way you make money is a sale, right? So the question is, do you want to sell your time for money or do you want to sell a product and service for money? Because if you sell your time for money, you'll never have time freedom. But if you sell a product or service for money, the person gets value, they use the product, then you make money. Uh. So, it's, so it's a different, it's a different ball game altogether. Okay? I want to share with you a story uh, that my mentor shared with me, right? And when my mentor shared this story with me, right, it, 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 it changed my paradigm, it blew perspective. Okay, I want to share with you uh, how is it like, right, to live in Singapore, okay? So, um, okay, let me use, uh, yeah, Gabriel, right? Okay, Gabriel, come on. Let's use it, yeah, let's use it as an example, okay? But it applies to everyone in Singapore, okay? So when, when we first start, right, we go to primary school, correct? And after that, where do we go to? Is the aircon on? Oh, it's just off, right? Okay. Uh, primary school, secondary school, okay? After secondary school? Eh, hey, I don't seven when you're recording, oh my god. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, but never mind, just... I'm recording for you. Okay, okay. Wait, uh. The reason why I record, right, is for the benefit of those that that are not here. Okay, so after primary school, you go to secondary school. After secondary school, where do you go to? Poly, JC, and IT. IT, okay. Which one do you choose? IT. IT, okay. So after ITE, right, what, what, you have to go NS, correct? So after IT, how old are you? Um, 19. 19. So you went to NS. Correct? So when you finish NS, how old are you? <coughs> Two years later, 21. 21. Okay. So after 21 years, uh, after people go for NS, they got two options. Either they work or they study. study. Correct. So either they work or they go to uni, right? Or poly or whatever. Which one do you choose? Work, right? Okay. So you work. Okay. Right after NS, when you work, right? How much income does an average Singaporean make? Or how much do you make when uh, at 21? No. One or two? Uh, 1.6k 1, 1. 1. per month. Okay, yeah. now, let's, um, follow me on this. Uh. So you make 1.6k per month, right? That means you times 12, that means you make about um, 1.6 times 12 is about 20k per year, correct? True? Okay, do you plan to go uni next time? No. Okay, so 20k per year, uh, okay. So you make 20k per year. Out of 
twenty k per year, right? How much will you save? If you make one point six k per month, how much will you save? Will you save six hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, or nothing? Or what will you save? If you make one point six k per month. Bad saving. Yeah, bad saving. So you never save any money. I try to. So okay, will you save maybe five hundred? Five hundred. Okay. So if you save five hundred a month, how much will you save per year? Times twelve is six thousand, right? Six k per year. Okay. Now here's the thing, ah. So now you're twenty one. You start working, right? When do you want to get married? Yeah. Twenty seven, right? Okay. So, so, okay. Now you're twenty one, correct? So, so I draw this out for you, ah. So now you're twenty one. Okay. You want to get married at twenty seven. Okay. So let's say you save six k per year. After six, after six years, ah, you'll save about maybe thirty six k in your bank account. Congratulations! Now you got about sixty thirty six k in your bank account, correct? Okay. When you when you get married, right? You know ah, a wedding banquet, right? Can cost from fifty k to hundred k. Just one wedding banquet, you know. So that means ah, your whole thirty six k, right? Just to get one wife, ah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! Now, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, next. After you get married, what's the first thing you need to buy? Sorry. House. House. Correct. So you want to live in HDB, condo, or private? Uh, HDB. Okay. So we just say a small, small HDB. Uh. How much does the HDB cost nowadays? Three hundred k. No, now it's about two hundred. No, it's about four, five hundred k. By the time you become twenty seven, uh, how old are you this year? Twenty four. By the time you become twenty seven, it's probably about four hundred, five hundred k. Let's just say it's five hundred k, Okay. Five hundred k. You put a down payment, maybe uh, okay, five hundred k, right? So you have to pay twenty five years in installments. Make sense? Okay. So after you pay for twenty five years, okay, uh, you pay for twenty five years, right? Five hundred k, right, will become about seven hundred and fifty k around there because when you owe the bank money, then they charge you interest. So from five hundred k, right, now you owe the bank seven hundred fifty k. So you you have to keep paying up. Okay. Let's say now your pay increases to maybe three k per month. Okay. Let's say your pay increases to three k per month. Is that probable at twenty seven? Yes, right. So out three k per month, how much will you save? Two k. You save two k. You you save two k per month. Okay, let's say you save two k per month. Do you think most Singapore? Okay, question. Do you think most Singaporeans save two k per month? No. Okay, but let's say let's say let's say you save two k per month. That means you save how much per year? Twenty four k per year, ah. So if you save twenty four k per year, right? How many years must you take to pay back seven hundred fifty k? Let's say it's twenty five k lah. So seven hundred fifty is times three, right? So thirty five, thirty years, correct? To pay back seven hundred fifty k. True. Twenty seven, right? Now you are fifty seven. Congratulations. When you're fifty seven, right? You work every day. Work, 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 work. Yeah, finally, debt free. At fifty seven years old. But that's not what I call debt free. That's what I call. Bro, why? <laughs> because every single cent that you have, you spend it to pay your house. Every single cent you have, you spend it to save your house. All these two k per month is not you save one that is to pay your house one. You you get what I mean? Yeah. So at fifty seven, ah, you're finally debt free, oh. But that's not what I call debt free. That's what I call bro. Bro. And then maybe let's say you retire at sixty five, ah. By the time you are that age, ah, they probably raise your retirement age to like seventy eight. Okay, but let's say you retire at sixty five. Okay, congratulations. At sixty five, you got CPF. So probably they pay you like maybe five hundred k, your CPF ah uh, around there. Is it is that correct? Five hundred k for CPF. What? How how much will they pay you for CPF? Depends. Yeah. Depends ah, uh, but normally around how much? And average Singaporean, if they make three k per month. Thirty plus. Thirty plus. Huh? No. No. Okay, but okay, let's let's say CPF pays you five hundred k, or maybe maybe your parents pass you a uh, pass you half a million ah, uh, right? <coughs> When I find your care, okay, guys, follow me, ah. Uh, find find your care, okay, follow me, ah. Uh. I find your care, right? I rather I die at seventy five, ah, uh, than I die at let's say a um, hundred and fifteen. I rather I die in the next ten years than the next fifty years. Eh. You know why, lah? Uh? If I die in the next ten years, ah, uh, my find your care, ah, uh, can last me ten years. That's about fifty k per year. That's about five k per month. Still quite comfortable. I can live, ah, uh, right? If I die at hundred and fifteen, ah, uh, my find your care, I got fifty k. Uh, I got fifty k. No, my budget k is fifty years. That means one year only got ten k. Eh. That means one month ah only got eight hundred dollars to spend. Eh. Like that ah, I rather die than to than to live in Singapore. Ah. You don't forget inflation. Yeah, and we haven't counted inflation. We haven't counted um 
a lot of things. Uh. We haven't counted a lot. Oh, yeah. Don't forget inflation. Okay, I never count inflation. Uh. Okay. I never count car. Eh. Don't drive car. Don't drive car. You know one car can cost you maybe what? 2 200k? Around there? For 10 years? 200k. 200k. Where, where, where are you get the 200k from? Sell your backside. Don't get the 200k. Right. I don't count car. I haven't count. Most important, uh, ch children, you know. Do you know how much? Do you know one child costs you about one point three million dollars to raise all the way to uni? One point three million dollars. How many children you want? <laughs> two. Two point six million. Huh? Where you get the two point six million? Sell your children. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> to fund the other children. Right. So two point six million. Where are you gonna find the money from? Right. So why I share this with you, right? It's not to scare you or anything. Because when my mentor shared this with me, right? That's when I was like, damn. I need to work. I need to do something in my life. So if you ask me where my motivation comes from, I would say, um, this is also one of the reasons why I stay motivated. Right. So, um, okay, everyone write this down. The money you make, okay, okay, focus, yeah, focus, focus. Okay, so the money you make is directly proportional to the value you have. Everybody this down, the, the money you make is directly proportional to the value that you have. Okay? So the question is, it, it, it's about how, how much of value do you bring to the table? Why, why is a McDonald's CEO paid more than a McDonald's employee? Or why is, uh, you know, why is uh, Jack Ma paid the way he is? Because he brings value to the table. Why am I paid the way I am? Because I bring value to the table. Make sense? So the money you make is directly proportional to the value you have. Okay. Now, I go one step deeper, okay? The money you make, right, is not directly proportional to the value you add. The money you make, right, is directly proportional to the perceived value that you add. What does this mean? It means, right, is a Starbucks coffee really worth $6 per cup? It's just, it's just coffee, right? You buy it from Kopi or Kusong, it's about maybe 50 cents. But why do people pay $6? Because of the perceived value. So when you learn sales, right, in, you, you are able to increase the perceived value of something. Make sense? You see, the difference between a good property investor and a, and a not so good property investor right, is that a good property investor can rent out the house higher than the house than the market is renting out. Maybe he decorates one so far, maybe you know, and he, he convinced the buyer uh, that this, this property is good. So the best property investors are, are those that are good at selling. The best people who sell oil and all that right, are people who can influence the market. The best people who sell Bitcoin are the people who can sell Bitcoin. Those are the people that make money from Bitcoin, the people who can sell. right? So, it's about the perceived value that. If you look at everything, right, everything is, is about perceived value. It's about perceived value. What determines the price of a company? You know Uber? Okay, Grab, Grab. Grab is losing $100 million every single year. Every single year, it has a net loss of $100 million. But Grab uh, is worth $2.7 billion market cap. $2.7 billion, but it loses $100 million every month. Eh? Every year, right? Eh? Then the math don't make sense. Why would people invest in a company that is losing money, right? The answer is because they perceive that Grab will be a very disruptive technology. They perceive that Grab will be able to overtake and all that. So everything's about per uh, perception. And and all the companies, right, are all eyeing after the same thing, which is your attention, which is who you want to buy into. All the companies are doing the same thing. Gary Vaynerchuk, Ty Lopez, all the influencers, they're all eyeing the same thing, which is the control over your attention. Make sense? So, they want to increase their perceived value to you. And that's how the whole thing is. Even countries, countries all just want to increase their perceived value. So, they change the employment rate, you know, the statistics, uh, uh, the employment rate, the GDP and all that. So, that so that businesses and investors will invest in the, company, in the country. So, it applies whether it's in country, a company, or yourself. It's all about the perceived value. Make sense? So, it's not about the value you add. It's about the perceived value you add. And sales, okay, everyone write this down. Sales enables you to increase the perceived value of your product. These beats. You know how much these beats cost? $108. But why, 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 why I buy these beats? Because it's an alkaline beats, right? So it makes me healthy. So I perceive that these beats, right, is worth $100 because it, the health that it brings me it, it, is worth $100. So when like, I put water, then it becomes alkaline. So this becomes $100. This laptop is what? Thousands of dollars. Why? Because I perceive that this laptop will be able to add a thousand over dollars in value to it. That's why willing buyer, willing seller. Make right? sense? Okay. So it's all about the perceived value. Okay. Now I go one step deeper, right? The money you make is not directly proportional to the perceived value. 
the money you make right is directly proportional to the dynamic value you have. What do I mean by this? So the money you make right is directly proportional to is demand and supply, correct? So what, what determines price? Demand and supply. Maybe I perceive this value to be very high, but I might not want it. Right? So even you have the you are you look like you are worth a lot, but it's not something I want, then the person won't make money from me anyway. So it's it's all about the dynamic value you add. Make sense? It's all about demand and supply. So you want to serve a product that is um low in uh low in supply, you're the only one supplying it. Like let's say you sell a cure for cancer, that's a very blue ocean, you know. And then you'll be able to make a lot of value. Uh. You'll be able to make a lot of money. Uh. When you have a lot of value, you make a lot of money. Right? So like for me, because of the knowledge capital I have, the social capital I have, the financial capital I have, you can throw me in any part of the world. I can throw me to any part of the world that speaks English. Okay? I can guarantee you right, I can survive. Confirm. Yeah. Same thing for my brother. He can he can, he go to Malaysia, he go to Philippines or what, right? He can pick up a new language and he can survive. Why? Because he has the value. Make sense? Yeah. People pay me um $250 per hour just to learn Facebook coaching from me. Why? Because they perceive Facebook to be worth their value. Make sense? People pay me um a lot for retainer fees and all that, right? As a consultant. Why? Because of the value, the perceived value that the, the, the dynamic value that I have. Make sense? They need Facebook, they need sales, they need a sales team. I provide that, I provide that, I provide that. So entrepreneurship is essentially about solving problems, it's essentially about being a solution provider. When you can solve the problems, that's where you make the money. Yeah. Make sense? Cool. So I want everyone to write down, I, I'll give you all one minute, right? To write down the to write this down, okay? To write this down. The reason I'm not making enough money. Okay, okay, this this was an exercise that JT Fox, the world's number one wealth coach, he taught me. Alright? So he asked the crowd. Um so so his his mentor asked him, JT Fox also has a coach, right? Everyone has a coach, right? If you want to be successful, you have to have a coach or a mentor. So JT Fox coach right asked him, uh JT Fox, JT, what is the reason you're not making what you're truly worth? Okay? What is the reason you're not making what you're truly worth? Okay? And then he started to write down. The reason I'm not making what I'm truly worth is because. Okay? So I want you to take one minute to write down. The reason I'm not making what I'm truly worth is because. What is the reason you're not making what you're truly worth? Okay? I'll give you one minute. Okay? And your time starts now. The reason I'm not making what I'm truly worth is because I procrastinate. It's because I'm lazy. It's because the market is screwed up. It's because the prices, no one wants to buy property anymore. No one wants to buy insurance anymore. It's because um, my girlfriend cheated on me, that's why I'm not making what I'm truly worth. That's the reason why they're not making what I'm Oh, because my mom, my mom, uh, my mom didn't give me the right education when I grew up. Oh, it's because my dad, my dad, did something to me, that's why I'm not making what I'm truly worth. Oh, it's because of the economy, it's because of the government, it's PAP sport, I'm not making what I'm truly worth. Mm. What is the reason you're not making what you're truly worth? Alright? Mm. When you start to understand this, right, you understand the bottlenecks that's affecting your career. Is it because you got no opportunities? Is it because you're not learning enough? Is it because you're not reading enough books? Is it because <coughs> you are, you know? Yeah, what is the reason you're not making what you're truly worth? Is it because you seldom come for workshops or you know? Yeah. Okay. So shout out some answers. Okay. Begin finishing up. Begin finishing up. And stop. Okay. Shout out some answers to why you're not making what you're truly worth. Come, don't be shy. Right. We all face the same problems. It's not, yeah. Not enough time. Not enough time. <laughs> not enough time. Good. Not enough time. So what do you spend your time on? Daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> so is that enough time? Building classes in the end instead of building a business. Sorry? Building classes in the end instead of building business. 
<laughs> building clusters in the end. Castles. Castles. Living lah. Oh yeah, living. Castles is actually doing. What else? So um, daydreaming ah. So that, that that's what yeah. That's the reason ah. Right, daydreaming. Anything else? Doubt and overthinking. Doubt and overthinking. Like afraid of taking a step. Fear. Okay. Um, procrastination. Ah. Okay. Think you are not good enough. Not good enough. Ah. Thinking. Thinking. Yeah. Not good enough. Anything? Oh, fear. Okay, fear of what? Fear of failure. What else? Rejection. Rejection. Uh, fear of rejection. Okay. What else? Sorry, my hair. I think. Sorry. Wait, what is it? Change. Fear of change. Oh wow. What else? Fear of what? What? What else are you afraid of? Success. Fear of success. Powerful. Yeah. Fear of success. Uh, okay, I share with you. Like, I myself have the fear of success. I share with you why. I share with you why. You see, what I'm really afraid, right? Okay, is because, right, my, my greatest fear is not that I'll fail, you know. My greatest fear is that I'll become too powerful and then I don't actually influence people to become the best version of themselves. Or I become too powerful because, when, when, because I know that I have the capacity to be very, very influential, right? And my greatest fear right, is that when I become too influential or I build too big an empire, right? Takes too much time and you cannot do it. Because, because the, the truth is you can never make the whole world happy. So my greatest fear is that when I build too big an empire, I end up making I end up hurting a lot of people. Make sense? Like Hitler, he actually had very good intentions. He wanted to build greater Germany. And that's why he exterminated the Jews, because they were the one who took all the money away from the Germans. Right. So you, you everyone needs to look deeper. Everyone needs to look deeper into why dictators do what they do. Look at Donald Trump, look at um Barack Obama. They're actually very, very good leaders. If they're not good leaders, no one will vote for them. They won't rise to power. Yeah. Um if you look like Stalin, Stalin actually he loved Russia too much. He loved Russia too much. That's why he did the things that he did. Because he loved the country too much. Right? So my, my greatest fear is that I'll become too powerful. That's why fear of success is it's a very real fear. It is a very real fear. It's not a oh <laughs> why would anyone be afraid of success? I, I can share with you that I, I am afraid I become too powerful. Yeah. It is not our duck that uh has anyone heard this quote before? It's not our duck that scares us, it's our light that we become too powerful or that that we are shine too bright. Yeah. Because when, I, when you shine too bright, people people get jealous. When people see you with beautiful girls, they get jealous. When people see you making money, they get jealous. When people see you driving a Porsche, they, you, they get jealous. They, they, you never beat the world, right? When you become successful, this yeah. you always have problems. You never <coughs> not have problems. You ask me, what was the question you're asking me about um problems? I told you that you always have problems. What was the answer? What's the question you're asking me? No, yes, just now we were talking, we were talking, and then I said that you always have problems, no matter what. This whole journey, you will definitely have problems. Yeah. It's just what kind of problems you're gonna have. Remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone write this down. Um, don't pray that your problems become smaller. Pray that you become better. I should you. You always have problems in life. There will never be a time when you don't have problems in life. When you become very rich, right? The rich people are all thinking how to put their money in assets and how to how to you know play uh play the cash flow and all that. Uh, when you have a very pretty girlfriend, she's gonna you're gonna always have the fear that she's gonna cheat on you with another alpha male or something. Don't pray that your problems become smaller. Pray that you become better. What well, money is not something you chase. Hey, right, right, this one. Money is not something you chase. Money is something you attract by being a valuable person. Girls are not something you chase. Girls are something you attract by being a valuable person. Because when you focus on becoming more valuable, increasing your knowledge capital, increasing your social capital, increasing your financial capital, all these things will come to you naturally. You don't have to chase for your money. It will come to you naturally. I'm serious. Yeah. It will come to you very naturally. So But you always have problems even when you reach success. You never reach success because you always have problems. Oh, uh, what? You got enough money to pay the employees and all. Oh, got enough, you know, got so many employees, uh, so many mouths to feed. Uh, oh, now, uh, the only difference uh, between a small company and a big company uh, is that a small company, they are, they are what is like that one. Right? A big company is like that one. Eh? They make $1 billion, lose $1 billion, make $1 billion, lose $1 billion. 
Don't pray that you become that your problems become smaller. Pray that you become better. Make sense? Got it? Okay, everyone write this down. Businesses don't fail. People fail. Okay, yeah. businesses don't fail, people fail. A lot of people say, oh, oh the industry is a red ocean. Oh, it's too competitive. Everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's selling insurance, everyone's selling property. Why should I do property? Why are everyone selling car? Businesses don't fail, people fail. We don't build businesses, we build people, then people build our business, right? So, you see, Mark Zuckerberg, okay, Facebook. Facebook was initially what? A dating app, you know. But because Mark Zuckerberg was such a visionary, he transformed Facebook into a social media platform, right? Snapchat. Snapchat at first was for sexting, right? But because Eduardo Severin, you know his name, he's a, he's the youngest billionaire now, right? He, he was a visionary, he pivoted Snapchat into a social media platform that a lot of people use. Right. Um, if you look at, uh, yeah, there are a lot of things, right? You see, the business don't fail, right? If, let's say, people say, oh, dating app don't work, or what, right? But it's, so long as the leader is good enough, or so long as the, the team is good enough, or, the, or the, the, the whole team running the organization is good enough, right? That business will succeed. Businesses don't fail, people fail, right? So don't. So always focus on becoming better than who you are today. Focusing on improving 1%, 1%, 1%. You just keep improving yourself by 1%, you start attracting money, success, power, women, men. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um yeah. So we, we, we need to develop, develop your knowledge your knowledge capital, financial capital, and social capital. Remember? Yeah. So how do you develop your knowledge capital, financial capital, and social capital, right? It's by following these four pillars of success. So yeah, I always believe, right, that success is a science. Success is not a luck kind of thing. Success is a science, okay? You can guess uh, which business owner or which employee or which entrepreneur is gonna be successful. You can guess one. It's not a it's not a luck kind of thing, it's a science. And there are four pillars, right, of success, right? That it applies in any field. Whether is it playing guitar, whether is it um, playing basketball, playing pool, playing soccer, business, sales. There are four pillars of success, right? That anyone who has these four pillars, right, they are definitely going to be successful sooner or later. Okay, these are the four pillars of success. Okay, so I'm right now. What are the four pillars of success? Okay, the first success, right, is having a mentor. Okay. So there are principles of success that apply throughout any industry, right? Whether you do insurance, you do property, you do uh, whatever. Right. So long as you have these same few pillars of success, right, you definitely become successful. Okay. So the first thing is mentor. Okay. When you have a mentor, right, you must find a mentor, right, that you want to be like. Okay. Okay. Do there's this thing called mentor test. Means right, you ask yourself, right, would you trade life with this person? If you won't trade life with this person, right, don't get this person as your mentor. But if you think that hey, this person's life, right. Or this this person's journey is something that I think is worth going through. Then trade lines with this mentor. Make sense? So um, when you find a mentor, don't even find any Tom Dick and Harry as a mentor. Find a good mentor. Okay, find someone that can truly shortcut your learning curve. So the first thing is mentor. Let's look at Michael Jordan's coach, Phil Jackson. Right, Mark Zuckerberg's mentor, Steve Jobs. Warren Buffett's mentor, Benjamin Graham. Well, the guy who wrote the book, uh, The Intelligent Investor. Right. So mentor is very very important. Second thing is, second thing of success is called network. Everyone write this down. You are the average of the, the five people you spend the most time with. Okay? Your income, your average, okay, number one, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Number two, your income is the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You spend like five winners, you become a winner. You spend like five losers, you become a loser. You spend like five investors, you become an investor. You spend like five entrepreneurs, you become an entrepreneur. You spend like five employees, you become an employee. You spend like five people who play soccer, you are a soccer player. Right? So, network is very, very important. Right? <coughs> You are who you hang around with. Okay? This is because they are like you, that's why they become your network. Uh, make sense? So you attract these kind of people in your life because that is who you are. If you make 5k per month, you can add up all the people that you spend the most time with. They, they add, you add together, they make about 5k per month. Probably. Maybe one person make 1 million, the other person is in debt, you know, they average up to about 5k per month. Right? So that one's very important. Who is Michael Jordan's network? All the NBA players, correct? Every day you play NBA players, so not they come very good. Uh. Yeah, every day you play like primary school kids. If I'm Michael Jordan, every day I play primary school kids, I get worse and worse, you get what I mean? Because it won't force me to level up, right? 
Um, who is Mark Zuckerberg's uh, network? All the Harvard students, uh, right? He was from Harvard. Who is Warren Buffett's network? All the billionaires, right? So there's no, there's no wonder why they become so successful because the no, wealth will just rub off on, on to you sooner or later on when you know all these people. Okay, the third thing, right, is called enrichment. Okay, so it can be books, books, audios videos, um, seminars, uh, trainings, etc. Enrichment. Uh. The enrichment is very important. The enrichment right, is like the, the nutrients to the plant. Right? It's what helps the plant grow. Right? Um, reading more books, listening to more success audios, go, watching more, more uh, good videos like Kai Lopez, Gary Vinachar, uh, JT Fox, Hit no, just <laughs> watching more videos, right? And then, um, what's this? Yeah, no, no, no. Seminars. Oh, seminars, yeah. <laughs> seminars, yeah. So, se seminars, seminars, yeah. So, going for more seminars and all that, going for more workshops, going for more trainings, all these are like, enrichment, like, whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm helping you plant seeds, you know, you are planting seeds uh, for success right now. All these are seeds you are planting your brain for success, right? So, enrichment is very important, okay? Enrichment. How much of time did Michael Jordan spend at the gym? Probably a lot uh, in doing training drills and all that. Always right? Um Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett started reading at the age of nine years old. Right? He read through the whole library. Right? Uh, now he reads about what eight hundred pages a day. That's about four books a, uh, a, a day. Four books a day. Can you believe it? I, I can't believe this guy. Anyway, so can you imagine the compound effect it has on his brain from nine years old? Everything compound, compound, compound. Until now he's what sixty over. It's no wonder why he's a billionaire right now. Success is a science. You can learn success. Okay. Uh, look at um, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg reads a book a, a week, one book a week, which is still quite good. Ah, uh, fifty-two books a year. Most people don't read two books a year, right? So, um, very important. Okay. So read more books. Okay. The thing is this, uh, I read a lot of books. Okay. I told you sometimes I can even finish one book in a day. But nowadays I read maybe once a week, one book a week. Okay. But I supplement that with success audios and all that. But the thing is this. Guess what? I hate reading also, I'm like you, I hate reading. Okay, no, not many people actually like reading. Okay? Okay. But the thing is this, I also hate brushing my teeth. But why do you think I brush my teeth every day, even though I hate brushing my teeth? It's a habit. It's because it's not about what you like to do or don't like to do. Am I right this not? It's not about what you like to do or don't like to do. It's about what works. It's not about what you like to do or what you don't like to do. It's about what works. A lot of people they like instant gratification, they do the things that feel good. But it's not about what you like to do. I can tell you if you do only the things that you like to do, uh, yeah, sooner or later gonna and go, go into failure. Naturally. It's about what works. If you know it works, even if you don't like to do it, right? Just force yourself to do it. Force yourself to do it. Force yourself to do it. Then after a while, you become successful. Alright? So yeah, books. Okay, why why do I like to uh, why do I like books so much? It's because the level of consciousness of the author when you write a book is much higher than a than a seminar, or much higher than a video, or much higher than an audio. Because a book right is edited like maybe 20 over times. Right? So it really, 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 it's the cream of the crop, the essence of the book. It's what the what the author went through maybe 20 years of their life uh, or 50 years of their life uh, in one book, right? It's the essence of the book. And that's why it's so powerful. And when you read, right, you enter a meditative state, state also. It forces you to learn how to focus. You know, a lot of people they cannot read, right? It's because they cannot focus. It's not because they cannot read, it's because they cannot focus. They are too distracted. Oh, Instagram stories, oh, Snapchat stories, you know, that kind of thing. When you read, right, you focus and then it, it gets you into a very nice state. Okay? So, enrichment is very important, okay? Okay, turn to your partner and say, enrich enrichment is important. Enrichment, enrichment is important. Is important. And then, okay, now turn to your partner and say, I like to read. I like to read. Okay, awesome, thank you. Okay, next one, right? Okay, what's the last piece of the puzzle? This is the most important piece of the puzzle, okay? Is action. Taking massive action for success. You see, without the first three, right? If you don't have the first three, right? And you just take action, you just keep banging the wall again and again and again because you don't have someone to guide you, you don't have books to guide you, you, you don't know how to do it. So you just keep banging the wall again and again. If you just take action without these three, you, you're just gonna be very hardworking, but you just work very hard at the job, well, well, McDonald's employee take a lot of action, uh, right? But she still makes eight dollars per hour, right? So if you keep taking action, that that won't work. But if you only have these three, uh, mentor network and everything, but you don't take action, uh, they teach you so many things, right? But you also cannot implement. Make sense? 
So action is very important. Okay, you must take massive action and um, hustle. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of hustle. There's a, there's a price to pay for success. There's a price to pay for success. The question is, are you willing to pay the price? Jack Ma, Lee Kuan Yew, has spent his whole life building Singapore. <coughs> that was the price he paid for success. And people say that Lee Kuan, uh, Singapore is one of the best countries to, to live in, right? <coughs> Jack Ma spent how many years building Alibaba? Elon Musk, he spent all, all the money he made, uh, he spent to reinvest in Tesla, SpaceX, and all his companies, you know. He made $180 million, of, from, $180 million from PayPal. Uh. He take all $180 million and invest back into SpaceX, Tesla, and his, his other companies, you know. That's the price he pays for success. He didn't even, he didn't even own his own property. He, he had to rent his property after he, he did that transaction. Right? So, action, right? Look at Michael Jordan. How, how much of basketball did he play because, before he became successful, right? There's a, there's a book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, right? So it talks about 10,000 hours. We need to have 10,000 hours sure. in a sport to master something, or at least 9,000 hours, right? Warren Buffett started when I was, what, 12 years old, he started investing. So now, he's a billionaire, naturally, right? Um, Mark Zuckerberg, he started since young, eh. Facebook has been around for about 10 years. He's been hustling every day for 10 years eh, to make Facebook what it is today. So it's about taking massive action, okay? So when you have all these, right, then you'll naturally have, yeah, uh, you 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 naturally you you will become an asset. You will become an asset. Okay. Everyone write this down. I am an asset. I am an asset. Okay. I am an asset. Yeah. Everyone high five the person next to you and say, you are an asset. You are an asset. You are an asset. You are an asset. Okay. And say I am an. Okay. Everyone high five the person next to you and say, I am an asset. Yeah, we are all assets. We are all assets that compound. Remember this figure? 1.01. Where's my 1.01? Remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember this? Remember this? Just just remember this. 1.01. Okay, guys, focus. Uh. Remember, you're an asset. Uh. Remember, you're an asset. Uh. Your social capital is an asset. Your financial capital is an asset. Your knowledge capital is an asset. 1.01 to the power of 365. You become 37.789 smarter. Every day, you just read one more book. Uh. You become 37.7. One more chapter. Or one more page. Just one more page. Uh. You become 37.789 smarter. Okay, okay. Okay. By you doing this, you become an asset. Yeah. Okay. 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 1.01 to the power of 3650. You become 5 quintillion mm -hmm. times better, you know. A quintillion is a thousand trillion, eh. A thousand trillion times better, you know. Can you even count the number? It's 15 zeros, you know. Not 12 zeros, eh. 15 zeros. It's a million, million. This is thousand. This is million. This is billion, trillion, quintillion. And it's 5.9, eh. This is almost 6 quintillion times better, eh. That is the power of compounding. That's the power of improving yourself. Layer. By leader, by leader, by leader, by leader. That's the price you pay for success, right? Okay, so uh, money isn't something you chase, money is something you attract. Okay, next thing, right, is that, okay, you all want to learn about sales, correct? Okay, I share with you, right, that there are four ways to do sales. How many ways? Four. four. The first way is called fishing. The first way to do sales is by fishing. The second way to do sales is by okay. no mining first. Mining. That's all. That's all. who who said that? Who said hunting? Awesome. You watch the video, is it? No. Okay. Smart. Hunting is another way. Um, hunting. Okay. Farming. Yes. Who said that? Oh, smart. Okay, good. So that's that's fishing, mining, hunting, and farming. <coughs> So, if you ask me, what's the easiest way to do sales? I'm going to show you the four ways to do, to do sales. <coughs> and then you decide for yourself what kind of way do you like the best. Okay. What is fishing? You see, everyone already know, sales is about getting your attention. Sales is about getting your attention. Until you have the person's attention, right, you will never be able to sell them anything. Why are you all here today? Maybe it's because you listen to a Facebook ad. Or maybe you all saw a WhatsApp. Or maybe you all saw a, your friend send you. Right? So, I got your attention, that's why you, you that's why you see a workshop, a, a, a great workshop, like, right? So so I was fishing. So okay, you see. The the amateurs, right, when they fish, right, they fish one by one. 
one by one, you know. Okay, what's fishing about? Fishing is about having a bait, right? Fishing is about having a bait. Like, let's say, um, a free ebook is a bait, right? It's like people, to get a free email, to get an email address, I give a free ebook. That's a way to fish, right? So, amateurs, they fish one by one, you know. Like, let's say you, you prospect someone, and then you ask them, like, uh, Hey, would you be keen to make uh, eight, uh, eighteen percent returns per year for investments? Uh, they see whether they're interested. That, that's the bid, right? That's the that's the uh, that's the bid to get people interested. So, uh, sales is about getting attention. Until you have people's attention, there's no way you can sell them anything. There's no way you can sell someone anything until you have their attention. Until maybe they follow you or they like you on Facebook or they have heard of you somewhere or they see on WhatsApp or they see on YouTube or something. So sales is about getting your attention, right? So. Amateurs fish one at a time. Means I ask you, hey, you interested to make money or not? Not interested. Okay, then I move on. Hey, you interested to make money or not? Hey, I got a very good lower. Oh, then I see she's interested. Okay, hook her. Ah, then uh, make her in a customer. Ah, hey, you interested in um building a multi million dollar business? Not interested. Okay, you need yeah, you know. So I hook, hook, hook. I slowly hook. But the best fish fisher men, right? Are people right, who hook like that. Like they, they take the whole thing and hook like that. Yeah, that's the best kind of fishing. Because um, what I mean by that means right. When you fish, right? Let's say if I'm selling a, a health workshop, okay. Let's say I'm selling a health workshop, then I find a pond that has all the people who are hungry to take the bait, nah. If let's say I'm selling a health workshop, then I go to all the Facebook groups that are health and wellness Facebook groups. Then I advertise there. Why would I advertise to everyone? I only advertise to the ponds that need, need, or want health. You know. If let's say I'm selling an entrepreneurship workshop, I'll, I'll talk to entrepreneurs or salespeople, right? If I'm selling uh, jewelry, I'll talk. Either the women or the men who will buy the jewelry for them. Yeah. So I I will find a bait, something that I can hook them, right? So sales about fishing. Okay. So, so fishing right, is about offering value to the person. Okay. Offering value to the person before you ask for something. Okay. Offering value to the person before you ask for something. There's this book right by Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is one of the people I learned a lot from. It's called Jet 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 Right Hook. Okay. Is by this guy called Gary Vaynerchuk. He's one of the top marketers. Okay, so so what's Jeb 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 right hook about? It means uh, he means he means give 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 ask. Okay, it's like boxing like right? Jeb 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 right hook right. So it means give 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 then ask. So I keep giving. Are you receiving a value today? Yeah. I'm giving. So, okay, take note. Uh, it's jab, 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 right hook. Uh, okay, it means it's give, 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 then ask. Not give, 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 then take. Okay? It's give, 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 then ask. Not give, 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 then take. Which means you provide so much value to people. Keep providing them value. Keep providing, providing them value. Keep providing them with value. Until, right, when you ask for something, right, they are more than happy to give to you. Because you have added so much value to them. Make sense? My game plan for 2017. <coughs> And 2018 and 2019 and all the years ahead, right? Is this? I, you see, there are some people who can take value and still succeed, scam other people and still succeed, right? And still make a lot of money, right? But my game plan in the world, right, is that I'm gonna give people so much value, uh, that people feel guilty for not passing me money. Means uh, I give so much value to people, uh, that they feel, wow, this guy helped me a lot, ah, uh, wow, I learned things from him, uh, But I don't pass him money, I feel very, wow, I feel very guilty, uh, for not, you know. That's, that's my game plan in this world. And I'm going all in on this game plan. I, I, I sincerely believe right that so long as you just keep focusing on giving, 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 right? Sooner or later, right, you will get it back. Right? Yeah, sooner or later, you'll get it back. Whether it's in business, in your love, in your love life, as long as you keep giving, 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 sooner or later, you'll get it back. You get the love of life, you get your dream car, <coughs> you, get, you get it back. Yeah. You just keep giving and loving your family, sooner or later, they'll, they will love you back. And that's how the world works. Right. So just keep give, 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 and then ask. So that's that's how you fish by giving. Okay, you fish by giving. Okay, and fishing right is also about knowing what the what is value to the other person. Okay, it's about knowing what's value to the other person. Okay, so um, okay, so, okay. Mining, mining is about let's say you have a whole list. Okay, you have a whole list of prospects. Okay, so you just call them up. It's like you're mining. It's like you're going to a mine. You need to find what is gold, what is what is not gold. Okay, okay. Everyone write this down. Sales is not a convincing process. Sales is a filtering process. Okay, I hope this gives you a paradigm shift. Sales is not a convincing process. Sales is a filtering process, which means there's no need to convince people on why they need to buy your product. 
Your job, right, is not to convince people. Your job, right, is to find out who is interested in your product and then offering that to them. Make sense? You are here to filter people, not to convince people. There's no need to convince anyone right, in sales, right? So, sales is a filtering process. So, your job, right, let's say if you are an uh, insurance agent, just call your leads up. One, two. There's no need to convince them to buy insurance. You, you call you call 100, there will be one person that just nice needs insurance. They just sell. They just filter. Make sense? So it's like you don't know which one is the goal, which one is the dirt. You just have to keep calling, keep mining, keep mining. Sooner or later, you'll find the goal. Make sense? Okay. And then there's hunting. Okay. So hunting, right? Okay, this is very powerful. I'm going to share with you three killer sales techniques, right? That will make you super good at convincing people. Okay? Okay, but here's the deal. Okay? All these techniques I'm going to share with you, right? It's very, very powerful. And I'm very afraid that any one of you will misuse it. Okay, because when you become really very good at influence and become really very good at sales, right? You can influence people to do things that are not good for the other person. There's a, there's a fine line between manipulation and influence, right? Influence means you influence the person to empower them to become better. But like you manipulate means you manipulate for your own selfish intent, right? So I, I really uh, hope that you all won't misuse these sales techniques, right? I'm going to share you three killer sales techniques. Things that you will probably never have heard before, okay? Okay, okay. And can everyone raise their right hand? Everyone raise their right hand. And say, I will not misuse these sales techniques. I will only use these sales techniques to empower people to become the best versions of themselves. Thank you. Are you ready for the sales techniques? Okay, let's let's go. Okay, the first technique right, is this. Um, okay, so the first sales technique right, is like this. Vivian. Vivian, do you know that dinosaurs still exist? Yes. <coughs> do you know? Do you know that dinosaurs still exist? Probably, right? Okay. So, okay, I'm gonna show you what, what I just did there, okay? The, the truth is, dinosaurs don't exist. The truth is, dinosaurs don't exist. But when I ask, did you know? Okay, so the first self sell setting, right, is called this. Did you know? Okay, it's powerful, very, very powerful, okay? So when I ask, do you know, right? Do you know? Blah, 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 right? Do you know that dinosaurs still exist, okay? So there are only two responses her mind can think of. Number one, yes, I know that dinosaurs still exist. Or number two, no, I don't know that dinosaurs still exist. Either way, her subconscious mind right, is agreeing to the fact right, that dinosaurs still exist. Does that make sense? Can you imagine if you say something like, hey, do you know that you need, you need insurance so that you, you can retire better? Do you know that this, this, this marker is very, very good? Do you know that everyone who drinks this um, drink, uh, they live until 120 years old. Do you know that? You didn't know that, right? I'm telling you that now. Uh. Okay. So, do you know? Do you know it's very powerful? Do you know that this product is... Do you know? Do you know? Okay, this, this, this is, is very... It can be very manipulative if you don't use it, right? Alright? So, first thing is, do you know? Okay. The second thing, right, is... Um, wow, this room is really big, isn't it? This, this room is really big, isn't it? It is right here. So the, the second trick, right, or the second sales sales technique, right, is called is called isn't it? Okay, it's called isn't it? Which means which means if let's say I say um this white ball is very white, isn't it? The first thought that comes to your mind is it is. But if I say this ball isn't very white, is it? The first thought that comes to your mind is it is not. This girl, this girl is very beautiful, isn't she? Straight away, everyone thinks that she's beautiful. Um, this marker is not very black, is it? Straight away, the first thought that comes to your mind is not. Okay? So you can prime someone's brain like that. Okay? Powerful, uh. Powerful. Uh. Okay, the third one uh, is this. Um, is, is this thing called embedded commands? Okay, the third one is this thing called embedded commands. Okay? So what embedded commands means, right, is is that uh, what and then commands which means right okay everyone write this down no one likes to be told what to do people don't like to be told what to do people like to be led okay so the, the, the trick is to not tell people what to do hey do do this go here go there uh, uh finish up your drink uh set your appointment schedule okay no one likes to be told what to do the, when they listen like huh i'm not your dog i'm not your slave why why you why you talk to me like that right but people like to be led Means right, you say something like, can you pass me the, can you pass me the mark? Can you um, do, do, submit your appointments? 
re gentle reminder to blah 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 would be great if blah 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 okay so the, the words you can use are uh, okay number one is do 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 report five minutes before the event starts right um okay the second way is would be great <coughs> if okay the third way is um could you could you do me a favor by helping me to? Okay. Could you could you um could you raise your hand please? 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 Yeah, could you raise your hand please? It would be great if you could raise your hand, right? Um do raise your hand. Rather I say, Aaron, raise your hand! Uh, then you're like, huh, hey, who are you? Tell me what to do. Uh, you think what we back to army yet? Right. So yeah, okay. So that is how to hunt. Okay? Hunting is about going straight into your prey and like closing them up, right? That's where sales becomes a convincing process, okay? The third part, right, is farming. So farming, right, is about nurturing and educating people. My favorite way is farming, okay? So I, I like to farm, I like to educate and sow seeds. Because whenever you are educated, right, eventually all these seeds will eventually become trees and plants and all. It's a very long-term way, okay? So from the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dio Carnegie, there are nine ways to change people without arousing resentment, right? So how many of you, right, have ever given feedback, right? And the person that you gave feedback to, they didn't like your feedback. Anyone? And, like you thought you are oh, good intentions, you really want to serve the person, you really want to help the person, uh, but they don't but they don't like to listen to your feedback. Anyone? Yeah. My mother. Yeah. <laughs> so I can share, right? That it is not because of the feedback. It's because of how you did it. It's because of how you did it. And last time when I gave feedback to my team members and all that, I lost a lot of team members because of the way I did it. I was like, hey, your presentation sucks, uh. hey, then you must change this. Blah, blah, blah. They, they didn't like to listen to that. But the moment I changed, I read this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and I learned how to give it back <coughs> my whole parentship. Okay, I'll show you how. Okay. So these are the nine sets. Y'all can take a picture. Okay. So, so begin with praise and honest appreciation. Call attention to people's mistakes indirectly. Okay. Talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Let the other person save face. Uh, when you when you give feedback, make sure you let the other person save face. Okay. Um, praise the sinus improvement and praise every improvement. Be happy in your approbation and leverage your pace. Praise. Give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. Use encouragement. Make the fault seem easy to correct. Uh, make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. Okay. For example, let's say Isam did a presentation. Let's say I'm a I'm a I'm his manager, uh, let's say. So he did a presentation, but it sucks, you know. It sucks, you know. But uh, the first thing I say right, will not be that it sucks. Like, hey, Isam, I love the effort that you put in. Um I, I saw you put in a lot of effort. Awesome. Uh, just some small small things to fine tune on. Overall, the presentation is good. Okay, just some small things to fine tune on. Um, you did this, 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 this well, but you but the, over here, this one you could have done it a little bit different, right? But don't worry, you, you're very talented, uh, So it's a small small thing to correct. You after a while, you you in no time, uh, you you improve very fast. Yeah. So um, just just take note, just small small things to take note. But after you do this, your presentation will be perfect, really, right? So when he listens to it, something like that, right? Okay, number one, I make the I, I make the fault really small. Number one, I make the small fault really small. Where is it? I make the fault see easy. Right? Number two, I give you a fine reputation to give You're so smart that you I you you all you can do it really. I think like, hey, I'm very really smart. I can do it. Right. Then um, praise the okay. So after he does it right, after he he improves his presentation, the next one I'll say, wow, you see, I notice you make the improvement very good. Uh, then you just keep praising, praising, praising. Sooner or later, they improve. See, it's not about the feedback you give, it's about how you give that feedback. It's very important that you give the feedback right, okay? Yeah, okay, so that's how you farm, okay? So, so yeah, there are a lot of opportunities from learning sales. Right? You can, your, okay, people who learn sales, right, number one, their relationships are very, very good because sales is a people's business. When you become very, very good at people's business, right, your relationships become very, very good. Like you can say, hey, can you, can you help me to wash it? Could you help me to wash the car? It would be great if you could wash the car for me, right? Uh, this kind of thing, right? Um, yeah. So your relationships in your life will improve. Um, number two, you make more money. Number three, you have more freedom because salespeople have a lot of freedom. They can do. They want to sleep in on Monday morning. They can sleep in. They decide their own income, right? Number four, you become happier when you make money. You become happier, and when you become the best version of yourself, you become happier, right? And when you add value to people, you become happier, right? Um. It's not about making the money, it's about who you become when you make the money. It's not about making the money, it's about knowing that you have the ability to make the money. <coughs> As for me, if one day I lose 60,000, would I be scared? Would I be sad? I would be sad. But why be scared? I wouldn't be scared. Because I will know I have the ability to make that back. Make sense? 
So it's not about making the money. It's about knowing you have the ability to make the money. What you know, you have the ability to do it. You know that you have the ability to do it. Yeah, I know that if you throw me to Malaysia, I can still make money. You get I me? Mean? Because I had the skill sets necessary. The sales skill sets, the marketing skill sets, the management skill sets. Just passing a laptop, okay, and the internet connection, I can probably make money. Make sense? So, or you just pass me a group of people to talk to, right? I can probably that speak English or Chinese. I mean Mandarin, I can probably make money, right? So, um, okay, okay, right now, right? Uh, okay, that's the end of my my presentation. How how, how was, was it good? Okay, yeah, let's give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, I'm gonna launch my book. Okay, whatever I talk over here, right? Is is all in the book, and the book has a lot more things, right? The book is called Winning with the Apollo Advantage. Okay. So I want everyone to head to this link called book.ellerickong.com Okay, everyone head to this link called book.ellerickong.com Okay So what you'll see right Is a page that looks like that Okay, Ellery is like this book, okay So go ahead and type your email The moment you type your email You'll be the first to be notified right When <coughs> When the book is released Okay so the moment you type in your email, right, I'll send you a book that I wrote when I was 18. I wrote a, a philosophical book about uh, morality. It's called The Illusion of Right and Wrong when I was 18. So that's a free gift from me the moment you type in your email. Right? And um Okay, <coughs> now this this we need the Apollo Advantage, right? I, I will be charging people for the book. It, it will cost about probably $27 or something. Okay. But y'all can all get it for free. How? Okay, how to get it for free? Uh, is by helping me to share this. This about this workshop with three friends. So long as three people come for the workshop, you will get the book for free. The moment I launch it, I'll email you the book for free. Okay? This book, right, will change paradise. This book is the essence of my whole entrepreneurship journey. Alright? So um, everyone has a unique link. Everyone has a unique link. It means um, you all have your own unique link. My, my unique name is HZMGT. Okay? So anyone that goes to this link, right, I, I will know that it is my referral. You all, all have your own unique link. So when you share people, right, and they put in your email, straight away we can we can check that uh, it is your referral. And then once you're three, you'll be the first to receive the book. Okay. So okay, do me a favor. The first thing I need you is to share on Facebook. Okay, just click face, click the Facebook icon, click the Facebook icon. I give you a five. Uh, I will give you time to do it. Click the Facebook icon, and then press post. This is to sh yeah when you have three people. As long as they put in their email, yeah. Okay? Click Facebook and click post. Okay? Everything's typed out for you already. Uh, you don't, yeah, everything's typed out for you already. It's very simple. Right? Okay? Next one, click Twitter and then click tweet. Twitter and then tweet. Okay? Okay, the most important, okay, over here I don't have it on WhatsApp. But on mobile, right, you all have a WhatsApp icon. Okay. I'm gonna click WhatsApp right and share with five people. Just five people will do. Okay? Five people that you think will benefit from this workshop. Because the next workshop I'll do will probably be maybe next next uh, next Friday or I only do this workshop twice a month. Uh, right? I, I do this workshop as a form of giving back also. So um yeah, you can just share with them the link on WhatsApp. Five people, okay? Everyone share with five people. Think of five people that you want to share this with and share with five people. And once you share five people, normally maybe three will sign up and then you will win the book for free. Okay, there's a sneak peek of the book. Okay, so yeah, share. share. WhatsApp is the most important. WhatsApp is the most powerful because when people see it's a message from you, they will believe it. But if they see a Facebook post, they might not, you know, they might not go and click the link and all that. Yeah. So share on WhatsApp is the best. Five people. Thank you so much. Okay. Everything is typed up for you already. You don't even need to type anything. Yeah. Uh, it's like, hey, you want to go for this free workshop? Uh, everything is typed up for you already. Yeah. Okay. Five people. Five people that you want to add value to. That you think, yeah. Yeah, I think the first day. Oh, book. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, it's called book.ellerypong.com. Yeah.
chest really. Yeah, no. So we can Okay. Just five people, five people that can benefit from workshop. <coughs> okay. So awesome, huh? So all these okay, do you all go for seminars a lot? Workshops a lot? Or you seven go up? Uh? Okay. Yeah. This this the the way I did the seminar was different. I make sure I give value because a lot of seminars I've been to was just to sell things. Selling is important, but um I think it's important to give value first and then you know you're gonna sell anything you're gonna sell. Five people, five people. Yes. So maybe the next workshop will have 50 people or whatever. Yeah. I can, I can farm 50 people, I can sow seeds, I can educate 50 people, I can share with you. Maybe you want to do a sample to share how to, how to add a friend. How to add the friend? Yeah, how to add a friend? Just, just press space. Okay. Um, you press Facebook. Yeah. And you press uh, you must log in, uh, and you press photo, like that. Just two buttons. Facebook and then post. Okay? Yeah. <coughs> Just press Facebook and then post. Did Kang say something or not? Uh, you can, you can say I just went for this great workshop. Hope that you will be there the next time. <laughs> and it's free, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure you, you must think. Uh, always remember, your success is my success. My success is your success. Your your success is your friend's success. Your friend's success is your success. When your friend is successful, right, sooner or later, right, you're gonna become successful because that's your network, right? When you empower them, when you Farm, when you sow seeds, when you add value to them and they get value, you're not adding value to others, you know, you're adding value to yourself. Because I am the world, I am humanity. Yeah. You seem like you like coach people for the Facebook ads, right? Uh, yeah. Or YouTube ads or uh I, I I coach people on uh digital marketing, sales and all kinds of things, yeah. Correct. You don't love YouTube, is it? It's the same, it's the same. You must understand the marketing principles first. When you understand the marketing principles, right, then it will um, apply throughout all kinds of business and whatever. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Recently, I, like my makeup business, we launched it. There was a girl who posted, we got 3.7 thousand likes. Just that girl's post, you know, one post. Yeah. So there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. Yeah. Do I do? What do you do? Okay, what I recommend. Uh, I think insurance is honestly a very, very good opportunity. Uh, property is also very good. Network marketing is also very, very good. Uh, starting a business, if you have the knowledge, financial, and social capital, is also very good. But if you don't have the knowledge, financial, and social capital, don't compete. Don't waste time. Yeah. Jack Welch said that if you don't have a competitive niche, don't compete. Yeah. So a lot of people, they, they are entrepreneurs, they say, oh, I want to start my own business, and then they got no money, they got no knowledge, they got no social capital, then you start one business, don't waste time. Yeah, you're gonna get eaten by the other sharks. Yeah. Yeah, don't waste time if you don't waste time if you don't have the knowledge financial situation. Okay. So yeah, share with five friends, yeah. Out of five friends and hopefully uh if you're ready to share with five friends, uh the next workshop we've got 20, 50 people. Yeah. But I, I love the response here. Yeah. I'm really very, very blessed. Okay. Awesome. So Okay, so okay, remember just now I shared with you about this money making mastermind that will be happening on Thursday, right? So um is it okay if I share with you a little bit of uh, a way that we can work together or collaborate? Is that okay? Yeah. Can I? Uh? Okay, so what's this money making mastermind about, right? It's a three-hour mastermind with Mr. Ryan and myself. Okay, so so this is a three-hour mastermind that we will be having on on Thursday. Okay, who's Mr. Ryan? Mr. Ryan is one of the top in the industry for insurance, right? He has his own agency. Okay, awesome. a lot of people, right? So, normally, normally, people pay me two hundred fifty dollars per hour for Facebook coaching, right? Three hours will be already seven hundred fifty. On top of that, you get Mister Ryan. So this is definitely worth five hundred seven. Okay, what we're doing is mastermind. We will strategize, right? If let's say you own a business, we will strategize how to how to expand your business. If you are already doing sales, we will strategize um, what are the things you can do to get more leads, to get more sales. How to share your timetable? How to do these kind of things? Okay, it, it will be a very personalized coaching. Okay, where we really it's a mastermind where we think how to make money. The the, the title is called money making mastermind. Right? So we're thinking how to make money. If you have an opportunity, we'll give you an opportunity. Okay, I have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, this is like too many until I cannot uh do all of them. I cannot do all of them at once. So if y'all can take up these opportunities, is I don't mind. It's win win for everyone. Yeah. 
And what kind of opportunities? For example, you want to sell electricity, you want to sell meat, you want to sell insurance, you want to sell all kinds of things. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm going to have a shipment of electronics, right? And then I'm going to do Facebook auctions. Uh, you want to sell on Facebook auctions? Also can. Uh, anyways, uh, if you are, you are willing to do it, you'll make the money. Uh, sales, when you, when you learn sales, right, you always make money. Right? Yeah, okay? So the second thing is um, three months of mentorship through WhatsApp group. So you'll create a WhatsApp group, okay, with Mr. Ryan and myself inside. And any questions you have regarding sales, regarding business, regarding entrepreneurship, regarding how to make more money, regarding your career, especially if, let's say, you're already in relationship, it's also good, right? Your success is his success, his success is your success, right? So, yeah, it's, we can all win together, right? We'll, must, we'll do a mastermind together, we can all cross the board, it will create a very, very nice culture, right? Okay, and, and it's worth $900, uh, because let's say three months, uh, would it, is it fair to say it's worth $900, the worth, the value? Is it fair to say that? Three months of mentorship. Okay, on top of that, you get 10 ebooks, success audios, and the Apollo method, okay? So, um, Remember I shared with you that um, books are very, very important. Yeah. So okay, I cannot show you um the ebooks now, but basically there are 10 ebooks, right? Okay, I've read a lot of books, I read like almost a hundred books and all that. Uh hundred over books, uh, yeah. Or maybe up to a thousand. If you call those like eight page PDF as a book, uh, I've read a thousand books. Right. And my mentor and me, right, uh we put everything right into 10 books to read. If you want to get started in sales, right? If you want to be good at sales, right? You read these ten books. Okay, the first book is um, Parable of Pipeline. Second book is um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Third book is Business of the Twenty First Century. Fourth book, that that ten books I read, and you must read this book in this order. You cannot jump steps. You see, if you were to read the books yourself, right, you wouldn't know what books to read. Then after you, a while, you just give up. But if you know that you have these ten books to read, right, and you must read them in this order, you cannot jump steps. And there's a reason why we place them in this order because the paradigm shifts you get along the way from reading the ten books. For example. Do you agree that right after today's workshop, you're a, dif you're a different person already? You're at least 1% better than who you were before this workshop. Will you agree? Can you imagine after 10 books? Can you imagine after all the success audios? Yeah. We have a lot of success audios, okay? I have the top success audios from Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins and all that. I pay hundreds of dollars for that. You just buy one CD, uh, one CD set actually hundreds of dollars. Right? So um, I have a lot of success audios. I, yeah, I, can't, show, I can't show you because the internet is, 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 is screwed up. Uh, and on top of that, I have the Apollo method. So the Apollo method is like a template, uh, especially if you are doing sales, right? I, I show you how to bring appointments very easily. It's the, it's the system that I use, right, to build a team of 140 people in 10 months. Yeah, uh, Cynthia has seen it before, right? Yes. I show you a, a bit uh, of the video. Maybe you show the link of the ebooks so we can. No, there's, uh, no. It's, uh, no, the link of the ebooks. Yeah, because you say you cannot download it. Correct. Okay, yeah, I, I can show you by. Uh, let me see. Yeah. No, there's no way, there's no way. I, I can show you by my phone, maybe. Later, I can show you by my phone. Yeah, I'll show you by my phone later, okay? Okay, um, okay the third thing, right, you'll get is the opportunity, okay? So, okay, what are the opportunities I have? Good question, right? So, for example, okay, if you want to sell electricity, okay, do you know, uh, right now, um, ST has decentralized the electricity market, which means, uh, it doesn't, you don't have to buy electricity from ST anymore. You can buy electricity from Keppel, from Sunseed, etc. So, this is a very, very lucrative business because, a lot of businesses they need to change their electricity. Okay, if they change their electricity to a to a competitor instead of SP, their electricity is twenty percent cheaper. Is it an easy product to sell? Easy, right? And then you make twenty percent as the commission, right? So these are things that you can sell electricity. Okay, another thing you can sell mates. Okay, you create a WhatsApp group. Uh, add me in the WhatsApp group. The moment the employer gets the mate, I have the mate agency. Don't worry. Okay, I have the whole mate agency. Not not my but my friend. The moment the employer gets the mate, you make four hundred to seven hundred dollars depending on what type of mate it is, right? I have opportunities like insurance. I give you an example of insurance. Okay, insurance. Uh, you take the insurance exam. Right after you take the insurance exam, right, you get paid a one point four k, paid. Correct. Yeah. On top of that, you close your first four cases, you get a free iPad. Okay. On top of that, you still get mentored by Mr. Ryan. Is this opportunity worth nine nine seven? Is this opportunity worth nine nine seven? You. The moment you pass the exam, you make a thousand four basic pay. Okay. The moment you get four cases, you get a free iPad. Is would this opportunity be worth nine nine seven? There are a lot of opportunities out there. You will never be give, you will never be fed money or given money. You will always be given opportunities, and what you do with the opportunities is up to you. Okay. Or if you are already doing sales, or you already you already have an opportunity, then the mastermind will be very very good for you. Okay. 
So um, this is the the total value is two nine nine four right? So if you add everything, it's two nine nine four. Okay. So but obviously, it's not gonna be two nine nine four, right? I'm not gonna charge you two nine nine four. Um. So the, the most important question is, how much does it cost? Correct. Okay? How much does it cost? Okay. <laughs> Three. Okay. How how many of you right? If this was Okay, if time and money was not a concern, okay, if time and money was not a concern, you all would take on this opportunity. If time and money was not a concern, if time and money was not a concern, it's not a concern at all. Okay, if, if let's say you're doing network marketing, you can strategize how to improve your network marketing business. If let's say you're doing sales, you can strategize how to increase your sales, how to build a team, right? Um, if let's say you, do, you already have your own business, you can strategize how to do marketing, how to do Facebook, how to do um, how to do sales, how to do investment, how to get collect funds from investors, right? Um, if let's say you are doing what do you do? So sorry, no, yeah, you, you. Oh, I do sales. You do sales, right? Yeah. What do you sell? Business banking. Business banking, so like corporate finance, some, 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 some okay. Yeah. So we can help you think of how to get investors, how to fish in the right pond, how to get generate people for our workshops, how to generate people for appointments, we can strategize all this together. Okay? So how many of you okay, just a show of hands again, okay? if time and money was not an issue, y'all would be interested in this opportunity. If time and money was not an issue, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, great. So um so the thing is this we are offering sponsorships for committed action takers, alright? Because your success is my success and my success is your success. Okay? So for those of you who um, are interested, I would encourage you to stay back and I'll share with you um, how how the whole procedure will go and and also um, whether we will be a good fit for each other, right? So um, we can stay back and have like a 